Hey everyone, it's Brett here with The Tuning School. And on this, the final Tech Tuesday of 2019, we're gonna be talking about our printed course material. Now this is gonna help you guys that have been watching all year see a little bit more about our course material and the way it's laid out. It's gonna help you guys that just bought it to actually pick it up and be able to use it as effectively as possible. So the focus of this video is gonna be on all of our level one courses. This includes GM level one, GM gen five, Ford level one, and Dodge level one. Now these entry level courses can be daunting when you first pick them up because there's a lot of information and they're really thick courses. And I find that a lot of customers can make the mistake of trying to read the course cover to cover. While this works, there is more effective ways to go about it. So I'm here to show you a little bit more about how it's laid out and how you can use it to be the most effective as possible. So this can be broken down into three steps. The very first thing you wanna do when you pick up this course is read through the How Fuel Injection Works section as well as the Logic of the ECU section. Now that section is gonna go over the decision-making process for the specific computer that the course is covering. Now these sections are particularly important if you're new to electronic fuel injection or factory electronic fuel injection. It's gonna give you a brief overview of everything you need to know about how these systems are working and making their decisions, which is gonna better prepare you to jump into the actual tuning material later. Step two is gonna be how to use the software. Now this section or these sections will fall right after how the ECU logic works and how fuel injection works. Now, these sections in this part of the course are gonna be very helpful if you've never used HP Tuners before. It's gonna teach you everything you need to know from downloading the software to your computer, to how to set up the scanner, to reading files out of the computer, even to licensing the vehicle. And so you wanna check this out if you're brand new to HP Tuners. Now, you'll also wanna couple that reading material there with a section in the very back of the course called scanner parameters. Now scanner parameters is really important because it's gonna go through all of the parameters in the scanner that you should be recording, how they work and how they're reading, which is gonna give you a lot of information you need because it's far more important that you understand how the data is trying to tell you what the engine's doing rather than understand how to actually change the tables. So make sure you check both of those sections out before moving on. So the third step you wanna follow is figuring out which process applies to your vehicle. So all of our courses for the most part are broken down into three processes. You have a minor bolt-ons process, a heads cam process, and a force induction process. Now to give you guys some background on what each of those means, minor bolt-ons is gonna be anything you bolt on to the motor. This is gonna include headers, colder intakes, even intake manifolds, and the aftermarket throttle bodies. Now from there you have your heads cam process. This is gonna be any time you open up that engine. There's gonna be things like camshafts, different cylinder heads or ported cylinder heads, and different engine displacements. That's gonna fall under heads cam. Force induction is pretty straightforward. If you've got boost, your force induction, and that's the process for you. So you're gonna figure out what process works best for your vehicle at home. Now, if you don't have a vehicle to practice on, but you still wanna familiarize yourself with the material and the tuning process, I recommend you go through the force induction steps. Now I recommend that because it's our most comprehensive and most complete section and set of processes that we have. And so by going through that, you're gonna become really familiar with the most comprehensive part of the course, and then that'll make understanding heads cam and minor bolt-ons that much easier. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and that it gave you a little bit of insight in how our courses are laid out or is gonna help you make the most from the course you already have. If you're interested in getting your hands on one of these courses, make sure you check out thetuningschool.com. If you guys have any questions, make sure you reach out to us on social media. Now we're gonna take a couple months off from the Tech Tuesdays in November and December. We're gonna be gearing up for our new season of Tech Tuesdays starting in January, 2020. So make sure you guys stay tuned.